What's going on, gentlemen? Oh, you mean this? Right. I knew you. I knew you was a Stark, Tony Stark. Yeah, now nah, I got. I got a gift. You know what I mean? Oh, what well, was your birthday? Yeah. Uh, no, no. They just were like, "Thank you." And they oh, gave early me. Christmas gift. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could call it, it that. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. Yeah. You know, uh, I was supposed got, to go yeah. trick or treating yesterday. You know, hand out my Mister Goodbye, and I couldn't even fucking do that. I'm kind of pissed. Wait, what? So. <laughs> Mr. I love Mr. Yeah. Goodbar. <laughs> oh, you pick fan of Mr. Goodbar? You want my Mr. Goodbar? Uh, yeah, if you got a king size Goodbar. Oh, it's Goodbar. a king size motherfucking uh, bar, that's for sure. Bro, I, bro, my, my, All right, I'll come by later. Mr. Goodbar, good bar, like old, like old people eat, right? Mr. No, Goodbar. No, no, it is a good candy bar. Chocolate it is a good, delicious. it is a good candy bar, but it is old, uh, old people chocolate. Mr. Good, it's Mr. Goodbar. Uh, Y'all know I'm the... talking about my cock, right? Oh shit, nah. I thought... Yeah, it's oh. Mr. Goodbye. Is it full of nougat? Yeah, I'm talking about yesterday was Halloween, where like, you know, you got ghost goblins and a bunch of fucking, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Fucking love Halloween. Trick or treat. Go ahead, have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goodbar. Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> Bye -bye. Yeah. yeah. You never heard that phrase? Give up my Mr. Goodbye? No, this is this <laughs> actually no, the first no, time. No. Yeah. I, I thought you, I legit thought you were talking about chocolate the entire time. Yeah, nah. Me too. I thought that was a candy bar. I mean, it kind of is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, think about how the Mr. Goodbye looks, right? I mean, obviously, right. not everyone could call it the Mr. Goodbye. You feel me? But, like, uh, you know, but it's got, like, the, you know, it's got the Uzi. Never mind. Just kind of think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. The nougat, yeah. you got the caramel, yeah. the vein, the little, the little chocolate. Why do all chocolates got the little no. vein in the middle? A like a Snickers. But you know it's full of something. Oh, don't see yeah. it. <laughs> what, Snickers? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? No, I said that too slow. Yeah. I'm not, ah. a, oh, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Snickers. I think uh, the, the, the ice cream ones, though, that yeah, is shit. Yeah, the ice cream ones, though. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, you ever had a right peanut right butter Snickers? No. You should try them, bro. I'm oh not kidding. shit. That, that's it's probably the best candy bar, like chocolate bar wise. That's probably the best chocolate bar I ever had in my life, next to a Kit Kat. Oh, I, I ain't never had different. something so like magnificent mm, grace I, my mouth. I feel like I need that. to do it today, type shit. You, you, you go to I mean? a gas station. You go to a 24/7 gas station, whatever, whatever have you have nearby. Look for a peanut butter snicker. I promise you, bro, it's probably the best All thing right. you ever have in your life. The best thing you ever have in your life. Okay, put, I'm gonna, I, I'm I gonna put have, money on it. I'm gonna have to do that. That sounds fucking good. It's like a little yellow John. It, it comes with like four squares. Now I sound like a big back. Come with four little squares and shit, and every square is packed with a bunch of bunch of flavor and shit. Packed with a bunch of, but packed with oh. a kick to it. Pack a punch in your mouth when you eat it. It tastes. That's how good it is. Mm. I can sell. I sound like sound like Baby D from Friday. Jesus fucking Christ! I uh, there's a lot of like new shit. Like uh, I've been a fan of like Reese's for like a minute, and mm -hmm. uh, then like a while back they had that like the fast break. That oh yeah, fast breaks are, are good. Yeah. Like oh my god. Reese's Butterfinger. Yeah. Butterfingers ain't bad either, to be honest. Butterfingers my number one. Yeah. I feel like that doesn't get enough, uh, like, people don't put that on their top 10 list, on their tier list, even though it should it's be. because it's a Home Depot bar, man. No one sells anywhere but Home Depot. <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I'm sure they do, but it's always at, like, a Home Depot. That's crazy. It is, almond like, the Joy, grown man's, uh, like, chocolate bar. Love an Almond Joy. God damn. Almond Joy's good. I used to be it's a like, fan ooh. of Three Mus Musketeers, but not yep. anymore. Yeah. All right. Black Twix and Reese's Cups. Oh my God! I feel like I need to just get a, a like a thing of candy. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. But uh, I'm more of a. You know I can't stand sour candies, bro. I don't like. 
Really? Oh, no. you, not even like the Sour Patch watermelon? Mm. They're not that sour. It's just mm. good. Mm. I hate doing that. Oh, I, I don't oh, know, yeah, bro. I don't, yeah. Mm -mm. Like I don't like that. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking about that shit right now. My, my gums hurt just thinking about it. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, why you why you go straight to watermelon? Because it's the least sour one of all of them. Mm. I don't think there's enough sour ones. Strike one. What? Sour heads what are, are five. Talking about? Yeah, sour heads are good. Yeah. Sour heads are like not not sugary though. They're just sour. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I can't stand sour Skittles, bro. Oh, okay. no, nah, those are all right, though. That shit is actually. Ah, like, they're yeah, good, nah. but they burn your mouth. See, like I fuck with like that. I'm putting chlorine in my mouth, like the chlorine pellets, like the the commercial pellets. Mm. It's like I'm putting that shit in my mouth, like a flavor chlorine pellet in my mouth every time I oh eat it. Oh my god! What you want me to talk about, Larry? I feel like we were just talking about candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it went by me. I'm, I'm, hold on, I'm trying to figure. No, hold on, give me a second to remember. Oh, here we go. Boom. Here we are. Finally. Guys, got, got, got five minutes of your time. There's a lot to discuss. There's so much to discuss. I don't know where to begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go know, ahead. I'm advocate listening. for the people, advocate for the streets. And I'm telling you right now, the streets, they they, they, they is happy. But then, you know, in terms of like gang wise, you know, them, these motherfuckers happy. They have the whole fucking world. They can do anything they want mm, to. Okay. They can do absolutely anything they want to get away with it. I've seen the moon boots and goddamn jetpacks and shit. I've been to that little, uh, that auction. These motherfuckers mm. got shotguns and ARs and shit. They don't give a they, they, I'm telling you right now, gang life is up good. Everybody is happy in, in that way. But, but, but minus the marshals. Everybody hates the marshals. But when it, when it gets to like the Civ business and shit like that, I'm not going to lie, you know, Civ jobs is dying. Nobody do, nobody is doing Civ jobs. No I more. agree. And I was talking to a couple of sanitation workers and, you know, they, they expressed to me like how, you know, they feel like, you know, everyone, you know, they. As soon as everyone got up good, quote unquote, they forgot about us. That's what, what I can't remember her name. She said that to me. Probably Cleo. Was, I'm assuming. Mm, mm -hmm. It's something so, like that. I uh, she said she's sitting on a mountain, a mountain of materials, and nobody, and like nobody's buying. And I was like, so I can tell you that you know I've tried my best to kind of like incentivize it, right? That's why we came up with Mopec, because the problem was like all the material was going into manufacturing like heist related stuff. So I said, listen, we're going to cut a slice in um, and have like a county sanitation team and get more mechanic shops up and boom, boom, there it is. Mm -hmm. um, and what about grime? Well, so that's so like, let me let, let, let's get one thing out of the way. Yeah, there's so much shit me and Pred wanted to do. And this fucking rat queen angel and a minions of uh, marshals have literally <laughs> ended up like taking up every single ounce of our time by targeting us for God knows what reason. Um, I don't know how much you, like, I know, I, I, I understand that you and Pred relationships aren't perfect, but I want you to consider the fact that this guy became mayor and immediately had an arrest warrant that was held for after the, you know, that shit to go down. The, the, the latest thing where they fucking raided his property, this guy got like fucking raided at night on a, Whoa. on a, on a warehouse that he bought right before going to bed. They didn't even raid his fucking apartment. Why? Guns that he purchased five months ago. So what Pred is seeing is the way that the civilian life has been eroded. Now, you and I both know that Pred isn't a fucking angel, right? <laughs> but, uh, or let me use a different phrase. He's not a saint, right? But... The thing is, the same thing that's happening to him is the way that a lot of cops just grossly go after civilians. Uh, in fact, with uh, Cyprus, I think I handled like like four of y'all's cases before I was mayor. All negligent ownership of a firearm. Um, where the elements that were doing well as civilians, all of a sudden the gun gets missed a cop doesn't properly report it. So many hurdles to, 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 for someone to show that they're innocent being put in place. Now, all of a sudden, they're fucking felons. Oh, I, say, I feel like, like, like my so bad, afraid. you got robbed. 
They're so afraid of Pred, they don't want to give Buddy a chance. They, they want him to fail so bad. They, they, I don't know. Well, the reason is because if Pred and I, like, work together, we are as powerful as the DOJ in terms of writing legislation. Mm -hmm. So this is, they're abusing their power to specifically target him, target me, and uh, target, quite frankly, members of high command who um, have been tasked to alleviate some of this, right? I mean, let me ask, let me, let me put it this way. High command and LSPD is being targeted unless they fuck people over by the marshals. And that's what it's come down to. You will live by our vision or you will be eroded. But uh, unfortunately for them, uh, we're, I'm about to do a legislative orbital strike. So... Um, mm -hmm. Take them all now. Yep. And let me explain myself. I just went... I, I, I put in a request for FOIA. They told me it's too confusing. They don't know how to give me my reports. Referencing me. That's the kind of okay. shit we're dealing with. You know what I mean? So to go back to the civilian life, right? Oh, oh actually, let me give you one more example. You got JJ from the, the kebab shop. When's the last time you saw him work there? Never. All because... Oh, I lie, never. I was just talking about that shit earlier. No yep. one works at that taco, kebab, the sushi spot. That shit, yep. shit have yeah, never been open. Food courts are just closed now. Yeah. This, stink. this man was with his friends in Hydra. As a consequence of that, when the besties, I think it was, rolled up and shot them, he protected himself with his legally owned firearm uh, backed by Stand Your Ground, and he was charged for a uh, gang-related shooting or something like that. And now, for the last six weeks, he has been a felon. He came to me and didn't know what to do. He's like, I might as well just gangbang. You know what I mean? Because if I'm treated like this, then what's the point, right? And this is the heart of the problem, is that law enforcement is not enforcing the law. They're not protecting and serving. They are ripping away the heart of civilian life because I genuinely believe they have mental orgasms over, uh, as I, let me quote someone, take away their uh, crim virginity. What the fuck? That's yep. foul. That it is. is foul. That is foul. So. I never heard no fuck shit like that in my that life until right now. Yeah. So what happens over time? What happens over time is a lot of these people that were like the heart and soul of civilian life. They t get pushed into becoming felons. Probably be uh, not because they wanted to, but because yeah. they're like, might as well. And then when those beacons of, of like of of whatever stop being around then everything just falls like cloak is, is is an example of someone that is one of the, the the last few left right wyatt one of the last few left while the rest yeah. have been pushed and forced into a uh, a a a guilty until proven innocent oh that's bad yeah yeah i remember like a while back my buddy uh was like pushing up north and he's never been caught for anything he had a government job and like he hid his shit he got away from it but they still pulled him over like checked him and then searched the whole area like they're throwing like the full book at him mm. but, like he'd never been caught with like anything and he just like ca crashed out on it he was just like what the fuck dude i was clean like i what why they go so hard on a guy that is clean with like nothing on him you know yeah it's it's he's it's 100 percent clean but like you, you get the point I'm trying to draw with that. Oh, that yeah. Like, I mean, I look at, like, the way the I've water, been treated like by... a bunch of great white charts, yeah. Exactly. I mean, the way that I get treated, I swear to you that some people's existence is to expose that I'm a felon. Well, I can stand in front of you today, and I can tell you that I've done a lot of crazy shit many years ago. Nobody fucking knows that. Well, minus, like, a few people, right? But my point there is... It's like, if I were to get in a vehicle that I genuinely did not know was stolen, I guarantee you that I would get charged. Because someone would say, mission fucking accomplished, look what I did. I got him behind bars, I put charges on him. You know, I had a officer track me down 
to give me a ticket. What? Because Wait, like I did not even have a single traffic violation. And then they proceeded to rub it in my face. Now you tell me, like, what kind of fucking attitude is that? <laughs> it's very like kind of gotcha journalism. Yep. So it's like they're trying to like. They're looking for a reason they, to hate you. They think everyone's a criminal and they're just trying to uncover people. Yeah. Mm. Not like actually just police criminals. Like they're everyone's not. a suspect. Yep. But how do you? But the thing is, it's, it's already terrible. been. It's like the mold is already set. How do you unmold something like that? Besides, like clean house. I was like really the only thing. That's but exactly what that, I'm doing. Right? As we exactly speak not. right now, there are uh, five legal-minded individuals working on a number of things between impeachment, contests, etc. Because some of these motherfuckers need to be put Fuck. in their place. Can I... You know, some of these lawyers are afraid to do anything against the system. Oh, tell me about it. I know that. They tell me that if they do this, they're afraid they're going to lose their job. And some have. One lost his job for raising his voice. Got in a beef with what? the director over Twata. So, but how did he lose his job? They just took his bar license? Uh, the way that it went is there's an individual that had a vehicle that was... Uh, came back to uh, supposed like drug sales up in Polito. Um, his lawyer came to protect him, you know, to, to, to not protect him, but like, you know, to uh, represent him. Uh, he witnessed the officer talking mad smack uh, to the suspect, to which the suspect was responding very negatively. So this lawyer said, hey, you know, can you talk to him professionally? There's no need to like say crazy shit, you know? And um, to which that cop said some shit to the lawyer back, right? Like a fuck you. And so the lawyer goes something about like his mother or his parents in a condom. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what he said back, but he, you know, he, he, he shot back at, at the cop. Um, the cop complained to the DOJ. The DOJ took his bar license. Uh, uh It'd be like you that. Do, you can do that? Yep. Because the judges are the ones that control the bar. And what were... Okay. I, everything like is so ass backwards. I, yep. Or am I tweaking? Every, everything's ass backwards, right? Oh, it is. And But I will say at a grand scale... I now have the next three months to help turn it around because we got most of everything that I needed to do done in the last three months, right? That now my focus is impeachments, contesting dog shit laws, and putting, uh, pushing laws that put people in their place. I'm not saying that I'm going to win every battle, but I can now stop putting the pressure in. Um, and, and, and that does start with trying to get the lawyers their own like you know level of protection they should not be under the doj it's fucking idiotic imagine your boss is the person you need to argue with it's crazy yeah that just doesn't make a lot of sense nope well shit can't believe brody lost his job for raising his voice Imagine yep. if he would have cursed, they would have probably hung his ass like, what the fuck? Yeah, fucking ridiculous. But anyways, I know that kind of indirectly answers your question, Larry. But I think that's like the main issue, right? Is how do we create civilian beacons when those civilians are seen as like lambs, right? Being brought to the slaughterhouse type shit. But... I have requested of the government, the court center, uh, be um, carved a pot into a warehouse, which I'm going to be turning into the mall. For stalls, it's going to be a new area for jobs. So the idea being, um, 
small businesses and otherwise, whether they got property or not, can sell their goods there, right? Kind of like the farmer's market back in the day. Um, however, there's more to it. Um, there's also going to be a fulfillment center. So we're going to hire people that, like, let's say you're selling wood, right? The lumber union or whatever could sell their wood at the stall, even if they got a spot, right? Because a lot of people are going to be a lot of foot traffic. But let's say mm -hmm. no one's there to sell the wood. Our fulfillment center will have bought excess volume and have it in the back. And you can either purchase it on the website or come in and make put place your order. And then civilians can also, um, oh shit. Fred wants to do a joint. Um, what was I going to say? So like, let's say you wanted to buy wood and no one's around. We will have already purchased wood to have it in the back and someone will sell it to you. You know what I mean? Like at that place. Um, so we want to create effectively a new civilian hub. And I think that's where a lot of benefits come. Or like, let's say you want to make some money. You can go down there and we might have like job contracts. Get us 20 olive branches, right? Or whatever the fuck. And contract is 24 hours. It's 8,000 bucks once it's fulfilled, you know? Uh, as for grime, well, for G6, G6 tier three can be mall security. Um, and they will protect the money being moved from the mall back to the bank. So I think that is Project Civ right there. And uh, now it's just a matter of time. Oh, I fuck with that idea. Yep. All right. What else would you like to uh, talk about, Larry? Talked about civilians. Uh, uh, no. I feel like you're still well, fucked I, up over the system right now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I hate to say it, but this city is dog shit. <laughs> it, it's not the city. It's just the people in the city. Yeah. Just dangerous. It is real dangerous. I'm about, to, I'm about to start saying some real dangerous ass shit, shit in a minute. Oh. It's just way too many people with. Well, it's way too many sensitive ass people with like that go on these microaggressions towards people. And I remember Lane Buddha told me something. He said, uh, this city's been molded. You, we need to be the change that we want to be. Mm. And ever since then, I've been, I've been screaming it to the mountaintops. And the best way to get rid of mold, some bleach. I'm shit. I'm just. Like you gonna have to. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna have to clean some people out. I didn't realize mm. it was this bad. I did not realize it was this bad. Yeah, actually, kind of pisses me off now. It does. But here's what I want you to. This thing that I have done, running for mayor, is the change that I believe is needed. Now, is my vision correct? I don't know. But it's why I wanted people like yourself on the team, Michael on the team, etc. Because if there are not people fighting for that change, then change will never happen. And right. while the rest of the city may... Because things evolve slowly, right? Mm -hmm. To the point where those that are watching on the outskirts may not notice the changes taking place until it directly affects them. The fact of the matter is that change is happening. You know what I mean? Um, it's just, you know, you got to stay strong. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Oh, and another thing. Mm -hmm. Me and Nika was wondering, is there anything like, is there a thing like uh, liquor licenses and shit? Is that a thing? That's what we were going to work on until this whole like disaster called the Marshalls last two weeks is oh, okay. we want had to legalize moonshine up north and liquor licenses down south so 
people can manufacture moonshine legally up north and sell it in the south with a tax and that the people with the liquor licenses can sell that liquor down here so well that i'm not gonna lie that works out very perfect enough and that leads up to my yeah <laughs> that leads up to my next question yeah uh when can we approve the the the, the lucky plucker let's do it uh it's gonna be oh uh talk to michael we have a new system in place for approvals and michael? yeah michael Rizel. he's gonna be in the yellow pages wait didn't i already approve it actually hold on i gotta take this as pred hey pred Hey, I'm at the. Just wanted to let you know I'm at the town hall. I'm good to get this going whenever you want. But also, I need to talk to you about something because I need to pick your brain and see if okay. uh, see what my best options are. Um. Yes. Let me finish up with Larry, and uh, then uh, let me link with you. Oh, listen. You listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Larry's a fucking snake, brother. All right, you got to be careful with him. All right, he will. Look, I know you probably don't think he would snake you, but trust me when I tell you, Larry will snake anybody. All right, so just be careful. Oh, I know. Him, all right? I know. All right, I was just letting you know. All, all right. right. Bye, buddy. I appreciate it. You take care. All right. He was talking shit about me, wasn't he? He was. Uh, transparently, he thinks you're a snake. Uh, I don't, but I don't even talk to the guy to even... Okay, anyway. Look, here's the thing. All that matters is what I think. Yeah. There's a reason why you're in my cabinet. Yeah, I could, I could probably. Yeah. I could give two. I could probably give less than a fuck of what Kyle Perry yeah. to me. That big back bitch. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, no. As, as, well, is it approved? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, I approved it, but you need to go to a judge and get the final approval. To a judge? Oh, yeah. Oh. So I have signed off on it. Let me double check here. Lucky Plucker Knoxville. Yeah, you need to go to a judge. Oh, here we go. Yep. Wait, the judges fuck with me. Well, I have a. Okay, okay. And they don't have to do much, to be honest. Yeah, they don't have to do much. They literally just have to. I've approved it, so you take the next step. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Yep. But, uh, no, listen, because. I ain't gonna lie, that pressure just kind of fucked with me. I just, I just want you to know, I talked, I even listen, talked to listen, Fred. Look, I told look. him I'm all in, and I, I know my apology don't mean shit now, but I want you to know, like I'm in, and I'm not going. I, anywhere, I know you're brother. in, I know you're in, and that's why when I see you going outside of my vision, when it comes to, I don't give a fuck what you do on the outside, just don't, you know, do felonious shit, right? Yeah, you know I'm not. But, I, I and I know, God, and not. I know you're not, and like I said, I'm all that matters. At the end of the day, right, it's some people are going to move a certain way. He probably doesn't trust you for some reason. That's never going to change. Other people's opinions do not change my opinion, right? It's right. about what you do and your actions while you're in my cabinet. And I haven't had a concern that I have not brought up to you that you have not resolved. So uh, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I do things. I don't base my shit on rumor. You feel me? Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I, I really do. I really appreciate yeah. that. Cause I, I don't so, want, I don't want no animosity. I mean, it's there with him, but I, I just don't want no animosity towards you, me. And nah. You, so. As long as, as long as we straight, I'm straight. Yeah. I, look, I'll tell you, if if I have a problem with someone, I make sure they know. You know what I mean? I'm not one of those yeah. like I'm gonna go behind your back type shit, right? Maybe I might if I'm pissed about some small shit, but if it's like real, you know what I mean? I'm gonna fucking say it to your face type shit. You know what right. I mean? And uh, but. You know, anyways. Larry, keep doing what you're doing. I fuck with this. Keep giving that feedback. And we're going to keep moving forward on that. What I would... I'm going to give you a task, though. Um, okay. um, I don't have one right now. But going down this... I want you to think about what we can do with the limitations that we currently have without construction. On how we can elevate let's say grime or whatever it might be right even if it means we got to make some shit up you know what i'm saying kind of like mopec for materials is there something we can do for a sector that is hurting and i don't need an answer anytime soon but if something comes to mind bring it up because this is a this is a hard task you know what i mean like 
Sorry, I was writing it down. I got you. All right. All right, buddy. It's good right. hearing from you. All right. I'll see you soon. Stay back in a couple of, couple of hours, a couple of days.